Hi there, Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I have a review of the Himmy gouache uh, by the seller Artsy on Amazon. Uh, you're probably familiar with these gouache sets because I've reviewed a couple of them in the past. And um, we're gonna take a look at this one today. This is a 24 set. And the interesting thing that's different from this than other ones is that the palette that is included is white. And I think that's wonderful. To have either a white or a gray palette is um, really nice for mixing because you get to see what your colors are. Now, since gouache is opaque, you know, mixing on a color surface isn't that big of a deal. But if you're thinning it down, um, you know, then you might see the palette color through. And, um, you know, if you need some extra space, you could mix in the lid. And they are pretty light colors anyway, but I just really am happy they included a white palette in this. Now this set also has uh, three brushes. Well, we've got a round, a, like a number, this is number four, but that would be more like an American number six. Um, it's got a six flat, it's about a quarter inch wide, and it's got a eight filbert, which um, is fairly similar to what our eight filberts, maybe it might be closer to a 10 filbert in American sizes. Um, and they're nylon hair, so that's nice, rather than the bristle brushes that came with the older Himmy gouache set that I had. Um, and there's a little slot for carrying them, which is nice. I could actually fit more brushes in here. In fact, I might throw in a couple smaller brushes and take this on vacation with me um, because it would. I, I've never brought gouache on vacation. I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, but all of the paints come in these little 30 milliliter cups. So it's about two regular watercolor size tubes worth. So like I'm uh, talking about like a 15 milliliter tube, which is not the tiny ones, but the next the typical full size tube of watercolor paint. This is like about two of them. And it's in a nice 30, uh, sturdy thick plastic case. So um, definitely reusable. If you decide gouache isn't for you, you could either, um, you know, use this as an acrylic, uh, travel palette, you could use this as a, um, you could even use it for watercolor if you wanted to, but those are pretty big pans and pretty deep wells, so it might not be the best for watercolor, but you could fill these up with a tube paint if you can't get the little replacement cups, which are more of an Asian, um, like I think in China, Korea, and Japan, the gouache and poster paint comes like this, and I think it's used a lot in like elementary school. Um, so, you know, you can get refills for this, but it might be difficult to come by in America. So, you know, you could get a tube. And plus the other thing that's nice about refilling with tubes is that if you use up a color in this, which is a very affordable paint, um, runs around, um, you know, less than, well, probably around a dollar a cup, really. Um, when you use up a color, you'll know that's a color you really use and you could buy it in a, like an artist grade, like the Schmincke Horadam gouache or the M. Graham gouache or the uh, Holbein gouache. Um, any of the brands that have a light fast gouache you could get. Now there was no light fast information or pigment information on these paints. I recently reviewed a set by um, Artix that had, that actually had the pigment information on the paints, which was wonderful because, um, because then you can extrapolate what the light fastness would be based on your knowledge of the pigments. So let's take a look at the swatches of these paints. I've got them swatched in this sketchbook right here. And so I, uh, I just kind of stamped out a grid and then I, well, let me just set this aside so I can set this on my table. And then I took a black marker and drew a line on each of the squares. And you can see on some of these, you can see the line through. This is just one coat of the paint. And some colors were really opaque and you couldn't see through them at all. Um, some were a little bit uh, semi-opaque or a little bit more translucent. You can see the lines through. Uh, some of them there. So I have swatched out some of my other gouache sets and I thought I would show you those just for comparison. I'd say their quality is all pretty similar. Uh, this one right here is the Arteza set of 60 gouache, just done on black sketch paper and then done on white sketch paper. Uh, you do get obviously more colors and these are tubes versus, um, versus pots. So you know you could read and refill with those tubes if you wanted to. I, th I think the quality is pretty much the same. It just depends on what you want for a range of colors and you know what sort of palette you want. Let's see, did I? Yeah, I swatched the Artix one. This is the one that had the um, pigment information in it. It also had more fashion colors and soft muted hues. So I think that you'd probably want this in conjunction with something else. And this is the Hemi, which is the same uh, manufacturer as this. The, this is their 18 set. So we can compare the 18 set with the 24 set, like 
I think probably all the colors in the 18 set, except there's two whites in the 18 set, um, are in this set. Although that one looks darker than this one. Uh, oh, you know what might also be the difference here with the with the, my older Hemi set. I let my paints dry in the in the pots because I was afraid of contaminating because this is wet paint in here I was afraid I was going to contaminate it as I was working so I let the paint dry out and then I just like would spritz it with water a few minutes before I went to paint and this was reconstituted from dry and I thought it did pretty well some of the colors are a little more weaker reconstituted but when you can when you compare it to the ones that are fresh out of the pots in the newer 24 version it's really not that much of a difference so I mean, it's up to you whether you want to let them dry out or you want to keep them wet. I think as long as you don't have an issue with mold, you should be fine. You know, some some climates where it's really damp, you might have an issue with um, with some molding. Or if you have like, if your water supply isn't um, isn't perfect. Like if I go on vacation, I know like the cabin that I rent there, their pump pulls water from the lake, so I might want to use bottled water if I'm going to be painting with this so I don't contaminate any of those pots of color. Just something to think of. Now here I did a little bit of mixing with just some primaries. Here I used the um, like the magenta, the Prussian blue, and the lemon yellow and I was able to get really nice bright secondary colors and beautiful pastel shades. Here I went with warmer colors like a kind of like a gamboge, a crimson, and a well crimson is not a warmer color but it's you know it was a more like neutral red and ultramarine and I was also getting pretty nice colors except for the muddy green but sometimes you want a muddy green. Uh, all in all I really think this is a nice set like I said the other all the other um, sets I reviewed like the uh, let me show you here the old Himmy one like this uh, that's smaller and the Artics they have their palettes are the same color as the outside case but I like the white palette so much better uh, cost wise I think this is set is maybe like five bucks more than the 18 set so it's certainly not a um, not a huge not a huge um, you know, upgrade in price, and I love that the palette is thick enough and sturdy enough to use over again. I believe there's a couple colors. I think this is available in green and pink. Um, a lot of them will have a bunch of different, like, kind of popular colors to choose from. Like I said, I think these are more popular. These come from, um, from overseas, uh, probably from China, and I think these are probably more used for, like, um, elementary school students. So it's probably more to appeal to them or appeal to like the stationary market, which is really into like pastel and cute um, and cute stuff. Workability, I think they worked well. They worked as well as any other gouache I've ever used. Nothing really stood out as being that different. Um, there's a little painting I did with it. Uh, thinned down really well. Uh, you could get good movement when you thinned it down. Worked great on watercolor paper. Um, covered really well. I could layer. It didn't lift up what was underneath unless I was trying to lift up what was underneath. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with these. I would definitely consider these if you need some gouache. If you have the other sets already though, I don't think there's enough new in here to really justify getting this set too if you have like um if you have the old Hemi set. If you had the Arctic set, I think the colors are more um they're more high chroma in this set so that would be a good complementary set to have. But um, if you already have the 18 set of Hemi, you're going to have, like, most of the duplicated colors are your really useful colors. So mixing-wise, you know, you don't really have a big advantage with this one. But, um, yeah, it's up to you. I do like the white palette. That's probably the biggest advantage, I would say, to this set. But, yeah, all in all, I like it. The only, um, the only criticism I have, I wish that this palette somehow locked into the lid because the paint does get on the palette, just like with, see, with any of these sets, if you let your paint stay wet, they're going to get on the palette until you've used them down quite a bit, which I have not myself because I haven't used them enough, so hence I think I want to take these on vacation, so I will use them. Um, so that's just something that this is going to get kind of some, some paint on it while it's in storage. Not a huge deal. It seals pretty well. I, I do notice, like, I, I got this, like, my magenta starting to dry. I got this, um, it's probably been a month, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I think it's been about a month I've had, uh, since I've opened these uh, and swatched them out and stuff, and I have had a couple colors starting to dry out on me, but you know, I can just spritz it with water and keep on going. I'm not, I'm not concerned, but I also don't mind working with my gouache dry. I usually do. Uh, so, 
you know, it's not gonna hurt them. It's not gonna hurt them to dry them out. It's just more, it might be a little harder on your brushes if you're letting your paints dry out because sometimes you have to scrub a bit to get your paint. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're deciding whether you wanna let them dry out or not. It's just a little less messy if they dry out, but they can be a little bit more difficult to work with. So, you know, you know what's important to you. And then to put everything back together, I'm thinking I might put like a double-sided tape or something on the back of this palette, maybe even just a little poster putty to keep it in a lid. But, um, because when you go to put it back down, it's kind of, well, you know, I could probably just set this down like this because it does fit in the recess pretty well. I just want to make sure it seals when I do close it. And if you can lock it on there, if you can lock your lid on, you've got a good seal, I think. I wouldn't store it upside down because obviously those will, will just, you know, slip onto the palette and make a huge mess. So make sure you store it flat if you're going to not dry out the paints. And if you're going to store it on the side, make sure those paints are completely dried out. I think this is um, a nice set of gouache. If you're looking for some gouache, I like that you got the paint and you got the palette and you got the storage all in one. You don't have to anything else to buy. After you get this, you might want some smaller brushes, but the brushes that come in there are actually pretty good. Uh, I didn't like the bristle brushes in the old Himmy set, and they were like an extra fee too to get those brushes. So yeah, I give it a thumbs up if you need some gouache. If you already have gouache, this is not gonna do anything revolutionary for you though. So uh, as always, use what you have and only um, purchase this if it's something that's gonna add to what you already have and not duplicate what you already have because you know, you want to, you want everything you add to your art collection to make everything else more useful, not just duplicate and have doubles and, you know, be redundant with your art supplies. <laughs> That's the thought, the pot calling the kettle black there, folks. I want to thank you so much for uh, watching today. I'll have, I have a time lapse of this on my, well, if I don't yet, it will be on my um, YouTube channel soon and also the real time for this will be in my critique club group over at lindsaywire.teachable.com. So the, the long lesson would be there if you're interested in that. And that's all I have for today. Um, it is World Watercolor Month and gouache is simply an opaque watercolor. So feel free to use your gouache this month and uh, you can hashtag it World Watercolor Month and you can also see what other people are posting this month. I July, I love it. I love World Watercolor Month. It's so nice to see what people are making. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy crafting.